It's easy to get lost in cars and offices and grocery stores and forget that there is a bigger, more beautiful world we don't always get to see. But there is stunning stuff happening every day, in some cases right outside your door. So let's take a whirl through some of the most incredible, sometimes mind-boggling phenomena the Earth has to offer, along with a little of the science behind them. Sprite Lightning Sprites or red sprites are large-scale electrical discharges that occur high above thunderstorm clouds, giving rise to a quite varied range of visual shapes flickering in the night sky. Sprites appear as luminous reddish-orange flashes. They often occur in clusters above the troposphere at an attitude range of 50-90 km miles. Sporadic visual reports of sprites go back at least to 1886, but they were first photographed on July 6, 1989 by scientists from the University of Minnesota and have subsequently been captured in video recordings many thousands of times. Sprites have been observed over North America, Central America, South America, Europe, Central Africa, Australia, the Sea of Japan and Asia and are believed to occur during most large thunderstorms systems. Eternal Flame Falls In upstate New York, near the Canadian border, there is a small waterfall hiding a big surprise, a shoot of fire about 8 inches tall. The flame found in a small grotto on the right side of the falls is produced by the emission of natural gas coming from cracks in the shale. The gas fueling flame is believed to originate from the Rhine Street Shale Formation, which is about 1,300 feet or 400 meters deep. The gas is a mixture of methane, ethane and propane, with methane being the dominant gas. It reaches the surface through cracks associated with faulting caused by tectonic activity. Because of changes in the pressure of the escaping gas, the flame's height can vary from 3 to 8 inches. Flooding, pressure changes and ice may occasionally extinguish the flame, but it is easily relit with a lighter. Water spouts Water spouts have long been recognized as a serious marine hazard. Stronger water spouts pose threats to watercraft, aircraft and people. It is recommended to keep a considerable distance from this phenomena and to always be on alert through weather reports. The United States National Weather Service will often issue special marine warnings when water spouts are likely or have been sighted over coastal waters or tornado warnings when water spouts are expected to move on shore. Incidents of water spouts causing severe damage and casualties are rare. However, there have been several notable examples. The Malta tornado in 1555 was the earliest record of a deadly water spout. It struck the Grand Harbor of Valletta, sinking four galleys, numerous boats and claiming hundreds of lives. The 1851 Sicily tornadoes were twin water spouts that made landfall in western Sicily, ravaging the coast and countryside before ultimately dissipating back again over the sea. Lemurian Lake The Ukrainian Dead Sea or the amazing pink Lemurian Lake is located near the village of Grigorovka. It is impossible to drown in it. Moreover, the amount of salt dissolved in a liter of water here is 50 grams more than in the Dead Sea, where it is 250-300 grams. Lie down and chill out, but that is not all. The water of the lake not only keeps afloat, but also not inferior to the salty waters of the famous resorts of the world in its healing properties. 
The unique Lemurian Lake Mud is used as a therapeutic and cosmetic product and has been certified in Europe. In particular, some beauty salons in Germany and Austria produce and use medicinal products based on lake mud. How did this mysterious lake appear? Locals say that in the late 60s a Soviet bomber with ammunition crashed here. A powerful explosion created a crater 40 meters in diameter. Since this place is the eastern end of Lake Sivash, in a few years the crater was filled with salt water from it. Under the sunlight the water evaporated and its residual water turned into salines. The bottom is completely covered with salt crystals, but you cannot be sure of this since the dense water will keep you on the surface. The distinctive pink color is the result of the activity of the single-celled algae Daniela, which live mainly in salty seas. Volcanic lightning That's right, volcanoes can produce lightning! It's pretty hard to study, but researchers have a few ideas about what causes it. One of the most common is that during an eruption, ash picks up so much friction that the buildup of static electricity causes lightning. The earliest recorded observations of volcanic lightning are from Pliny the Younger, describing the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. There was a most intense darkness rendered more appalling by the fitful gleam of torches at intervals obscured by the transient blaze of lightning. Pelis here lava. I know what you're thinking. I must have gotten my images mixed up. That's a bird's nest. There is no way that came out from volcano. But it did, from Hawaii's Mount Kilauea. The wind can catch individual droplets of lava and stretch them into what's basically glass wires. Strands can reach as long as 6 feet. While in Hawaii the phenomenon is named for Pele, the goddess of volcanoes, it's also found in Norway, where it's known as witch's hair. Giant permafrost explosions It turns out that if you heat frozen methane trapped in the Siberian permafrost enough, it turns into a gas, eventually building up so much pressure that the ground explodes. The loud boom and giant hole this bursts create were first reported in 2013. Eye of the Sahara Formerly known as the Rishad structure, the Eye of the Sahara is in Mauritania. Scientists are still trying to confirm how it was formed, but they think it's the eroded remains of a giant dome of rock. If so, it would have originally formed when magma pushing up towards the surface of the Earth created a bulge, like a pimple. Each band of the ring is made of a different type of rock that erodes at a different speed. It's also the almost home signal for astronauts landing in Florida. In fact, astronauts are mostly responsible for teaching us there is something there in the first place, since the formation is difficult to recognize when you walk over it. Lake Maracaibo, lightning capital of the world Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela sees more lightning strikes than anywhere else on Earth. In fact, there are thunderstorms here 300 days out of the year, according to a recent NASA study. The area is so stormy because cool mountain breezes and warm, moist air clash over the lake, creating electricity. Spotted Lake Canada's Spotted Lake is famous for its summer style, which is heavy on the polka dots. That's because the lake's water actually evaporates every summer. It leaves behind large spots colorful deposits of a dozen minerals. Further proof Spotted Lake is out of this world. Scientists are using it as a model for how ancient Martian lakes may have worked. 
fire whirls or fire tornadoes. It's pretty clear how this phenomenon got its nickname. It looks like a tornado, but it's made of fire. It's just like a spinning column of flames, forecaster Michael Watkins told the Los Angeles Times. They form when wind patterns twist and active fire in their column. About once a year, the US sees one large fire whirl, as tall as 1000 feet. Fire whirls can spread fires not only directly, but also by scattering burning debris. Fire rainbows. Sorry, we mean circumhorizon arcs. These beautiful sky paintings have nothing to do with fire or rain, as weather-loving people are very quick to point out. They are actually caused by the sun, very high in the sky, shining through a particular type of ice cloud formation. That means that how rare they are varies with how far north or south you are. Are you guys impressed? We have much more to tell you. Like this video, leave your comment and subscribe to Facts Beyond Reality.